Detroit was actually out here, you know, at the All-Star game. He was here, found in the room. So it's just unfortunate. Great, great guy, great kid. And, um, you know, one of the, you know, there's NBA basketball, but he was a street ball legend. He became a street ball legend after going to the University of Louisville and then going on playing on that M1 tour, tour became a big legend on the street ball circuit. Escalade is the act of scaling defensive walls or ramparts with the aid of ladders and was a prominent feature of siege warfare in medieval times. It's a long ass definition, man. Y'all yeah, ain't reading that whole story. Basically, what that saying is, Escalade is some bad stuff. My boy, Ray Alston, AKA Skip to my Lou, came down the middle and did his hand clap thing and he threw me a pass and I dunked it and the defender slid under me and tried to take a charge. And when I hit him, he slid back into the gate and Duke Tango ran, ran and stood over him and said, you just got hit by a truck. You just got ran over by a brand new Escalade. And that was it. I was born. We here in Louisville, Kentucky with my man, formerly from Louisville. You understand what I'm saying? Under Danny Crumb, Cardinal. You understand what I'm saying? Freedom Hall. You know what time it is. The Big E. I ain't talking about Alvin Hayes, D. I'm talking about Escalade. The last of the big men. Freedom Hall. Street ball. I ain't gonna be no others like him. That's it. And you getting that official from officially. the mouth, the mouth of street ball. That's right. Officially. The first train of street ball. Don't get in the way. You might get ran over. Give it up. Come on, when I say give it up, I mean give it up. He had all different kinds of passes and had a very nice touch and had great hands. And but the, what I, the other thing I liked about him was that he he got the crowd involved. When he'd come in the game, or everybody would that loved him. You know, they just cheer and root for him. Jackson picks it out. This was like the first high school of the game. And I got 50 on me, and 50, you know, 50 my man, I love 50 to death. But you know, 50 goofy, like. 50 didn't know me, he wasn't from New York. So he looking at me like, why is this fat dude dribbling the ball? Like 50 didn't know me. So I realized 50 going for everything. Like I could just do anything to him. When he leans in to try and steal it from me, I throw it up his head, perfect. He swings for it, you know, it come right back. Went down the middle and high octane, one of the, you know, great jumpers. He was too far in, I was too big. Bam, here we go, you know what I'm saying? So that's one of the best plays I ever made. Shout out to 50, you know, you've been taking care of my family for a lot of years off that move, man.
all like see people skip all the time and everything. But I really realized I arrived when I'm having dinner with the professor. I have made it. Oh, we, we first met the professor. He didn't have a cell phone. Then he got a cell phone. The professor got the sidekick color screen now. The professor talking about your Escalade two way. Let me know what's up, baby. When did the professor start talking like that? Every time somebody asks y'all for autographs, you gotta be like, no. Then you gotta refer to yourself in third person, so you gotta be like, professor don't sign no more. <laughs> so you can't just say no. Like somebody asks for autographs, you're like, Spider-Man don't sign no autographs. What's your most memorable moment in the, in the N1 Street Tournament, man? For you, especially. my most memorable yeah. moment, like 2006, being on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yeah, wow. Like, I remember that. I rem wow. Yeah, give it up for that. <laughs> like to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. That's like the holy grail in sports. Right, right, you know, right. That's like right. a that's like a rapper being on, you know, Double XL or something. Exciting times you out here, man. Back at the ground, man. Dunk contest. You are you a dunk contest. You are a slug. I'm gonna go with you. One time, one hand. I got one shot. Damn! Get out of here! What's the bet? I'm not doing it for free. I'll go get my honey right now. And you go get your honey and we put it on the ground.
I try and tell guys, it's not the league, it's not game seven, it's not that, but it's a different kind of pressure on that concrete outside, it's on you, the cameras is on you. Until you out there, you know what I'm saying, you really not understanding yet. When I first got on it in 01, came to New York, Skip was like, yo, ask me playing tomorrow, you probably can get some paper, like, damn, you know, you know I can get some paper? I can get out of my mom's house? Like, I feel, that was my thought process, like, yo, I'm trying to eat. And all I know is Skip just pulled up in a brand new Escalade. Like, what do the tour need? Nothing. We didn't need Shaq till he killed him. We didn't need Springs till he took off from the foul line seven times. Like, you didn't need hot sauce till he made eight fall. Like, you don't need nothing till it's like, oh, now we can't live without this. I, I, got a thousand, I, got a, I got a thousand in your pocket right now that you ain't got five dudes in this gym that if we go to 21, we'll get Show five points. Show me a thousand. Show me a thousand. Give me a thousand right there. Oh! Good pass! You can dunk it. Can you shoot five jumpers in a row? Stop us from getting to the cup and we'll start shooting jumpers. Until then, good basketball say keep going to the rack. You know that. Stop it! Stop it! Professor on the wing. Stop it, dummies! Shut up! Yep. Yep. Shut up! Pick who you want, not pick him. Anybody in the gym you want, shoot against him. Anybody you want in the gym, pick. Hey, helicopter shoot with him. Let's pick where I shoot for. Half court. Half court. Let's do it. Ain't serious, man. Every time I say something, he come up with another ridiculous tap. Come on, man. Tennis shoe, man. I show you. What size you at? Be quiet. I wish I had some tennis shoe. I show you lace up. Thirteen. If you want some free shoes, you don't want to play, man. Get out of here. We needed extra ammo, so we went and got, you know, one of the legends of this tour with my man Robert Martin, AKA 50 back. He told you that's 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 the story right there. Yeah, they said they were gonna bring some legit dudes today. Yesterday, yesterday was terrible, man. It was a junior high school JV game. <laughs> and you calling everybody? Oh, yeah, I'm about to call Jordan. Yo, Mike, come to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> you know, baptism by fire right away, man. No, it's not a gradual process. It's not. Let's go to, you know, let's go to Iowa and, and do it in Iowa first. No disrespect to them, but I mean, it's not the build up to New York. It's, let's do it here right away. Prove we, you know, we the baddest, and then let's go. This Animal Mixtape Tour is, is taking me all around the world. It's put me in a position to take care of my family, and it's, it's made an incredible life for me. So I'm a prime example of what you guys can be if you take this opportunity seriously. We on our way to Jamaica Avenue, shopping area. It's my neighborhood, like, literally like seven minutes from where I grew up, man. Like me, Big Mike, uh, Skip. Show guys, like, it's kind of Queens flavor. Nice summer day. Have some in my neighborhood is a big deal to me, man. It's all love today, you know? Yeah. Oh. You know Baby Shack with us. Hey, what's up, kid? How about it? Hey, what's up, We get a receipt? Thank you. I make important calls, man. My mother. In like 10 minutes, I'm about to be on, um, on Power 105. I'm about to do my man DJ Clue show. I got my man Escalade to build the N1 style. The professor's here. You try to bring N1 to Queens now, man. I don't know how this is going to look out there, man. You know what, man? You have to get buckets on y'all. I let him know two weeks ago so he can get his jumpers off for the last like 10 days. Oh, nice. Clue we'll get 25 tomorrow. Everybody in O'Connell Park, free white castles on me on spray paint. Let's escalate talk. I like that. I like that. I like how that sounds. That could be expensive. No, no fries. <laughs> All day. I'm a New York dude, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in Queens, coming uptown, playing at 55th and Kingdom and all the tournaments in the city. I used to work out in this place all the time. By the Kennedy Center, legendary place. A lot of great workouts going in there, a lot of great players. We were going there, holler my man John Strickland, AKA the franchise. He about to work out. What up, boy? You can't get this in Norma City, man. Put on a show, get buckets. Bro, oh, way to play, man. Every time we have to do it. Great job. Spin, you in there, buckets. Like, everybody know what their role is, man. You know, when you're in an urban area, when you live in, you know, cities or you live in urban areas, sure. you know, basketball is something you can do easy. You don't have a lot of money. There's no gear. You don't have to buy anything. All you need is a ball and, and yourself. You walk in and play. So I just think that when you come to urban,
urban areas without a lot of money and uh, guys growing up basketball is something easy to and you can play it all day every day. So it's going to be a tough decision because they got a lot of good players on their team. Um, I'm looking forward to tonight's game and then we'll decide just, just play hard and do what you do and you know the, the best will, will, will reveal himself. giving my life to this game and wouldn't do anything else. We have a good time. It's family fun, it's entertainment. We're gonna put on a show, a first rate show, and you're gonna leave completely entertained. It's just a blessing, it's a gift from God and we were picked to be here at this moment and to do exactly what we're doing because you, you, you couldn't write this story. I want to entertain people. I've got an unbelievable desire for folks to be happy and to enjoy what we're doing. Uh, I respect all the guys and I think in turn they respect. I've been around the longest. You know, I've been doing this the longest. So I think the guys respect me. Uh, I guess my role and, and, and my signature thing in this whole thing would be keeping it all together. Sort of, you know, I'm orchestrating what you're seeing. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing a lot of buttons and I enjoy that. It's, you know, when I was younger and I was able to dunk on guys and run all around and all those things I could do, it was enjoyable. But I get an equal level of enjoyment seeing these young guys succeed.